fellas, it's video 500. Hard to believe. Time has really flown. But before the alien invasion, I think it's probably important. There's one more subject I think we need to talk about. Something critical. And that would be tension wrenches. Yeah. You guys have seen me use uh, several kind of weird tension wrenches in the last 10 or 15 videos. Had a lot of uh, emails about why to use it, when to use it. And... Rather than just answer onesies, twosies, I thought it might be a good idea to talk about, well, what kind of tension wrenches are out there, where you can get them, how much they cost, and probably the most important thing, which ones are useful and which ones are junk. So let's look at these one by one and uh, talk about those things. All right, it makes sense to start with probably the most useful and common tension wrench, and that would be this whole family of, pick, or of uh, tension wrenches that you see here. Uh, these are all bottom of the keyway. Now you can see they come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. You got small ones, small ones with a twist, a little bit longer, super long with a twist. You got these are really useful if you're into minimalist. You got one uh, each end, short and long, more with twists but double ended. So these are really every possible combination that you can see. And usually they come in three different thicknesses. Uh, let me pick these up so you can get just a little bit better idea and these fall in line with what they, you find on windshield wiper inserts so the thinnest one is 0.1 inches that's a one and a half millimeters the medium one is 0.11 inches so that's 2.75 millimeters and the thickest one when you hear somebody say I'm using the thick tension wrench that's 0.13 or 3.5 millimeters so quite useful um, if you want to buy these picks if you know what you like then you can generally buy these from South Ord for about a about a dollar fifty each, give or take a little bit, depending on which one you're looking for. If you live in Europe and multi-pick happens to be your only source, you're going to pay quite a bit more. These are about four dollars and fifty cents per tension wrench, so they're not cheap there. A lot of times, if you don't know what you want, it might be better to go with a set and figure it out rather than try to make them all yourself. Um, this, these wrenches right here, there, this eighteen that you see right here, this is actually a Sparrow's kit that I bought uh, for this video. It's $27 for all 18 pieces, so that's not a bad deal. Another deal that I found, these are wrenches co that come from a company called Storm Lock Picks. And you'll notice that there are five different thicknesses. That's because these are made from spring steel, not from windshield wiper inserts. And they also are nice because, if I can get it turned over and aligned correctly, you'll see that they have the numbers. If I can get the camera to cooperate, so it tells you the thickness on the bottom of them. You can't determine it with your eyes. So these are really useful. This is what I carry in my kit. These are uh, this set of five thicknesses sells for thirteen dollars and thirty cents. So it's useful and it's a bargain. If you're the kind of guy, let me move these out of the way. You don't want to buy them. Um, as a set. You want to make them yourself. Peterson does sell a kit if you don't want to go out to a wrecking yard and try to find uh, uh, windshield wiper inserts. If I can get this to come out of here. He sells a kit and these are all what he calls his government steel. It comes in this neat little tube and he sells, and this is probably the most important part, a bend it tool. You can buy this bend it tool by itself. It's ten bucks and it really makes for an easy um, bending. Uh, these are five different thicknesses of all the um, different materials. These are all government steel by the way. And so you can take them, you can put them in there and you can just bend it to your heart's content. Short bends, long bends, there's all kinds of ways to, to make your own. So if you're a make-it-yourself kind of guy, you might want to opt for that. It comes with instructions and all that. I paid, um, I think this kit was $24. He has larger kits if you want more of this material. If you want more of this spring steel, it'll, uh, you've got one for $28, and if you want a huge selection uh, with even thicker ones, I think he sells that for around 40 bucks. So there you go. There's your choices for bottom of the keyway. I don't know what else I can talk about here, fellas. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we got bottom of the keyway, and now we got top of the keyway. And the most common top of the keyway, I think, that any of us see are called the pry bar series. And that's kind of a generic term, originally invented by Peterson. And there's a lot of manufacturers of them now, and they're all, they're all identical, guys. Um, here's the original Peterson, and they, they're all, as I said, they're identical in, in dimensions, in thickness. The 
the original pry bar is the one on the far left here, and that's fifty thousandth of an inch thick. And then there's the pry bar light, which is which measures only forty thousandth of an inch thick. So Peterson pry bars here, and then Peterson also has something called it looks like the pry bar, but he calls this the flat five series. And they're almost they look very similar, but you can see some of these are serrated, some of them are not. They're different thicknesses, and that some of them are flexy. They're much thinner than 40 thousandths or 50 thousandths. And that's kind of nice if you want to fit into a very tight keyway and uh, keep very light tension. Those come in really handy. Uh, another manufacturer of the pry bar is a company called Technical Entry. Again, these are identical. The only way to tell them apart, basically, is Technical Entry lasers his name on there, and then he lasers the thickness so you don't have to guess about which one you have but everything is identical to the Peterson uh, he started making these I guess a couple of years ago the most recent manufacturer is this one uh, it's made by sparrows again they're dimensionally and when I say dimensionally identical I mean they are identical no deviation whatsoever even down to the number of the teeth that are on the serrations uh, Sparrows makes the same thicknesses, but he also throws in two, with his set, throws in two of these flat ones, the very thinnest one and the very widest one. Now, how much do these cost? Well, if you buy the original Petersons, these are $8 each or $16 for the pair. If you want the flat five, I think he sells those for... $30 for the set of five. If you want the technical entries, if you live in the UK and uh, this may be the most economical choice, these are $27.50, of course the equivalent in uh, British pounds. Uh, if you want the sparrows, you get this entire set of four for $12. If you live in the, in Europe, uh, you can still buy the Petersons, but they're quite a bit more expensive. Instead of $16 for the pair, you buy them from Multipick, um, and they're going to run you $30. So quite quite a bit more expensive if you live in Europe. Uh, I thought it was important to mention these. These are normal pry bars. These happen to be Petersons, uh, and they're bent. A lot of you guys have asked questions about these. Why are they bent? Where do you buy those? And you just buy a regular tension wrench. You get your torch, and you bend them to the comfortable angle. The reason we do that is when you put it inside of a lock that you have to hold in your hand it's just much more comfortable. You don't have to hold it for example straight up and down. Kind of a weird angle for your hand. So put a little bend in there just a little easier. Be sure you heat it up with a torch. If you don't these are spring steel uh, and they will break. So heat it up before you try to put the banana curve in it. Alright let's move on to the next one. All right, the next type of tension wrench you guys have seen me use, and I find this quite useful, is called a serrated tension tool. And there's only two sources for these, and, they, and they're both identical. And you'll get it in a set. First you'll get uh, two tension wrenches, but they're different widths on the top. And if I can get it to cooperate, they are both serrated on both sides. And then you'll get a double. It's bent uh, in an S shape. but Again, if I can get the camera, it's only serrated on one side, and that's because one side goes for to pick left, and the other is to pick right. So, quite a useful tool. Um, and where do you use these? You can use them in the bottom of the keyway, but they're really not that useful there. Where they are useful is if you have a lock, like this is a CISA that Kerensky 77 sent to me. Uh, you'll notice it's a really small keyway, so if we try to put bottom of the keyway anything in there, it's going to steal all of our working space. So. If we take something and put it in the very top, like this serrated tension tool, it gives us plenty of room to work down inside of the keyway, and with these serrations really digging in, you can be sure that this little wrench is not going to be falling out of there. You get all the tension you need from the top. So these are quite useful. Where do you get them? Well, there's two places to get them. First, of course, is Peterson's. They sell all three of these, and that's in fact where I bought this one from. Uh, Peterson's three for twenty-two dollars. If you happen to live in Europe, that is the only other source from a company called Multipick, and they sell the exact same kit. For, and I believe they're also Peterson, but they're labeled Multipick. Uh, they sell three for forty-one dollars. Again, you guys are really being penalized for that Euro conversion, but uh, those are the only two sources, guys. Let's take a look at the next tension wrench. 
All right, the next kind of tension wrench is something called a dual prong. And I'll be honest with you, fellas, I own these. I have never found a use for them. Uh, these happen to be from Peterson. And the idea being that if you find the right size, and they do come in different sizes, uh, you slide it into the lock, and then you apply your tension, and that gives you room to work uh, on the pins. I think you see now why I've not found these very useful. They don't tension very well, at least for me. Anyway, if you are interested in getting yourself some prong, if you can think of a possible use for these things, there's several different sources. You can get these from Peterson for 12 bucks a pair. You can go to South Ord and you can get them for $5.70 a pair. If you live in Europe, you can go to Multipick and you get them for $7.20 each. Or if you go to Storm in the UK, you can get a set of three of them, three different sizes. Uh, but you're going to pay more. You're going to pay $18.30. So if you got a use for these things, that's where you get them. That's how much they cost. If you can think of a use of these, please drop me an email. I really would like to know why they everybody sells these things. All right, from this point forward, I think you're going to find that most of these tensioners are going to be specialized towards one kind of lock. This is a pick, one of the first top of the keyways. It was invented, I believe, by Wizwazel. And he designed it to attack one particular kind of lock, and that would be an American, and it's because it has a recessed uh, core. And by having top of the keyway, it could ride over the top, gives you plenty of room to work inside of the, the, the keyway, and you can keep very, very light tension on this thing. It gives super feedback. And unfortunately, there's only one company that still sells these, and they sell them uh, as part of a lock picking kit, and that would be Sparrows. No, none of the other companies sell it. So if you want to get a set, I believe it's three of these along with a bunch of other picks, the cheapest you can get it is by buying a kit called the Grad. And I think they sell that for about 29 bucks. It's a great tool, but nobody, nobody seems to be selling it. don't know why. All right, this next kind of specialized tension tool is called a circular tension tool. Um, it's, many of them are spring-loaded, so when you place these prongs down inside, they're adjustable, by the way by pushing on that button. And then when you apply tension, you can see exactly how much tension you're applying. So when you stick it down in there, you can place it, go something like this, and then you see exactly how much tension you're putting on that core while you pick it. Uh, I bought this long ago, uh, and I don't like it. I, I'm, I consider it junk, and here's why. First of all, it doesn't sit on the lock face, so it's kind of teetering up there the whole time. The second thing is it really doesn't save you a lot of room inside, inside the keyway. It doesn't really do a lot for you with those pieces of wire. And lastly, when you're picking, you have to reach through. So you're adding about probably a half of an inch to the depth of your pick. So by the time we stick it in there, we've robbed ourselves of some of the working room and some of the leverage. So that's why I don't use these. You can only get these, I can only find one source for circular picks or circular locks and they are, it is from South Ord. You get these things anywhere from forty to fifty dollars. So, hey, anybody wants this one, I'd cut you a real deal on it. Alright, let's take a look at the next one. Alright, this next tension tool really does fall into the specialized category, but if you're determined to pick best locks or best cores to control, this is a tool that's going to give you the best chance to do that. Uh, you'll notice there are three different sizes. They come in a set of three, and that's because the, there are different thicknesses, different widths, and these little teeth that you see here are slightly different. And why do we have little teeth? Well, because on the bottom of a best core, they drill all the way through, and if you put this tool in there, those little teeth, and I don't know if this is the right one, but I'm taking a gamble here, those little teeth will line up with the operating sleeve which is inside of this main core. So when you apply tension to this lock, you're actually applying tension to the, op or to the uh, control sleeve. So when you pick the lock, the control sleeve is tensioning the pins, which gives you a much better chance of picking this thing to control. So again, a specialized tool, but if, you, if you're trying to pick these things to control, consider something like this. Uh, the, there's only one company that sells these things, and that would be uh, uh, Peterson. And they, for the set of three of these specialized tools, he charges 49 bucks. Not cheap, but if it gets these open, you're going to save a core every time. 
All right, guys, this next one I don't have anymore. I did a video on it. I used to own a set of these, uh, and that ought to tell you how useful they are, because I got rid of them. But anyway, it comes in a, as a set of 10. It's by Fallsafe. It's their set of tension tools, and it works a lot like the prongs. Uh, you come, it comes with six of these, and they're different sizes, different widths. And then, of course, if those don't fit, you have four that you can adjust. And here's how it fits inside the lock. Uh, quite honestly, you can watch my review. I I was not that impressed with them. They do work, but they don't fit very well, and you got the same problems. They don't work with recessed locks. The other huge disadvantage is you can only get these if you buy the fall safe kit, which costs uh, well, several hundred dollars. If you find these these tension tools for sale, sometimes on a board, you can get them for, I've seen them anywhere from $100 to $200 for the set of 10. Very expensive, pretty obscure, and Quite honestly, I don't see a lot of use for them. The last one that I do have, but I can't find it, that again, I'll tell you how often I use the thing, is what they call a feather touch. They sell it from Southward. Uh, $9.95, pretty cheap, but it is a cheap tool. Uh, the thing I don't like about it, it's got this wire on the end, doesn't fit in all the keyways, and it doesn't do anything more for me than, say, one of the regular bottom of the keyway tension tools. So while I have one and spent almost $10 for it, I never use it. I don't even know where it is. So anyway, fellas, there you go. There's the tension tools, at least the ones I was able to buy for this uh, video, and the ones from my uh, collection. Hey, you got any comments? Please be, please be kind. I did the best I could on these things. Anyway, everybody stay safe, and for goodness sake, stay legal, gentlemen.